Hello, this is Il Duce Primo, and I'm going to be making a portaling tutorial for Halo CE. I'm using 3DS Max, and this is a level I'm currently working on. It's called Bloodlock. And, well, first, basic uh, portals, what portals really do for the level is allows the engine to render only specific parts of the level geometry makes it quicker for the whole game to run better for the player overall better player experience and should be done in any well polished map so first here the explain the basic principles of portaling uh, I got a vertical plane here and I'm going to set material ID to the object right now I have it in the material ID as number three so we're going to set that and in the portals it's plus portals gotta make sure you have that and I like to uh, make mine green a little lime green so it's a little apparent to see and with a little opacity so you can see through it and see your actual level geometry so now that that's applied we're going to take our plane bring it over here and all the ge a portal must enclose the whole like a whole cluster you know a whole uh there can't be a hole in the level geometry between a plane it has to seal the whole world so as you can see this plane now intersects the whole world geometry slicing it almost in half well not half but slices it um one other rule is the more face geometry of the portal that sticks out from the level geometry can cause an error when ran through tool so one tip you might want to do is either drag birds like that less face geometry outside or you can go in if you have more intricate maybe shapes you can go into edge select and use insert vertex which is a very handy tool I use it all the time not just for portaling but it comes in handy for this so if you have a cliff or something you can make a shape like that and that does help when running it it will create less uh, errors in the long run so now that's basically basic principles of portaling we can uh, delete this and I'm going to create a new plane and it's going to engulf the whole entire level this time we're going to be portaling how uh, blood gulch was done a lot like how that was done so we're going to have a grid like so we're going to have all sorts of uh, clusters in here in our level I'm just going to make this 10,000 by 10,000 alright that looks pretty good and like the same we're going to apply the portal material bring it into edible poly select the element ID of 3 okay get rid of the smoothing groups you don't need that so now that we got a grid on our level I'm going to drag it up one really cool neat feature about portals that not many people know is not only do they just portal but it also sets the uh, vehicle barrier for your level so in Blood Gulch the, uh, when the Banshee it really never hits the uh, sky material it runs into this portal ceiling vehicle barrier so now that we got this grid we're gonna bring it back into edible mesh select these edges and drag them down so they actually fully seal the world now in this uh oh crap that's not good let's bring it back into edible poly we have to set select just these edges and let's bring it into mesh now now only those edges are selected and then we want to shift down so we got these square clusters now throughout our level it's like a grid and we can start to sort of sculpt away or just delete some uh, areas that aren't really in the level that are pretty much just useless you know and delete those and you can sort of select the grid drag it out maybe where sight lines might be a bit better because you gotta remember portals are for uh, rendering and optimization so most common sight lines where the player is is sort of how you wanna maybe make some uh, the 
portals go. But this grid is a fast and easy, uh, simple way of doing a quick portaling for a m map, and it's it's satisfactory portaling. And that's the basic. Now that I explained that, I already have a portals half done for this map, and I'm just going to show you them. Going to unhide, and this is one I started working on, and this is sort of what you want. So a basic recap of portaling is uh. You don't want much face geometry outside of the world geometry. It must always seal a full uh, cluster. Must seal full uh, world geometry. I don't know exactly the term I would use. I'm a little brain dead right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something. And good luck portaling.